Coming clear, we live in a divided realm where each part of the realm contains different densities. There is a spiritual filter as well as a physical barrier, another ice wall surrounding the centre land. All magnetism comes from the centre, from Mount Maru. If you look at the chakra chart, Earth is the heart, Mount Maru is the crown chakra, the lower chakra are the hellish realms, which are the many lands past Antarctica. The higher chakras are the heavenly realms, which exists where our compasses all point to at the North Pole. The heart is the bridge of the lower chakras to the higher chakras and in the same way. This earth area we're in is spiritually sandwiched between the divine and the hellish. Hey guys, how you doing? You alright? So, our flat plane has two suns, the white sun and the black sun. The white sun over our heads is creating matter and physical light. The energy from its power is in all life on our flat plane. The black sun beneath our feet is making our intent come alive. All of our wishes, dreams, goals and intentions are materialised by the way of the black sun. This is why there is no escaping the power your mind has on this reality. The black sun responds to all intent. Amun Ra is the dual god in the Egyptian mythology, a combination of two gods, Amun and Ra, who stands for our two suns. Translated from Egyptian, Amun means a hidden one or invisible. Ra is a sun god, so Amun is the black sun, the hidden one we can't see with our own eyes, only work in tandem with our mind. Ra is the white sun which powers all physical matter. The dung beetle represents both suns. This dung ball has dual nature, that is why Amun and Ra, the dual god, is represented by the symbol. The dung beetle often represents the white sun above and the black sun below. The black sun is usually smaller, only half the size of the white sun, because it's the hidden sun of the Amun, the one which at the moment we can't see with our own eyes. Amun is where we get the phrase Amen. In many religions we say Amen after a prayer, because we are reinforcing that this prayer is going towards Amun the black sun. Our moon and Ra are the two lovers because they are the same sun. Our white sun and black sun are really on two sides of the same entity. There's a hole or crater at the centre of the flat plane where all compasses point to. Look at this diagram, suppose black hole. We are given a few parts, the singularity, the acceleration disk and the event horizon. The accretion disk is spinning matter around the event horizon. We are told the event horizon is a type of a one-way memory. It's the point of no return. When the object crosses the event horizon, it's sucked into this hole. Look at the word. If you look at the word event horizon, we can break it up to everyone enter our eye zone. This word is telling us. This word is telling us a black hole isn't something out there, but it's at the center of our plane where we must enter. And it's why our eye zone? Because our earthly defined mother is feminine. The singularity of the black hole is where density and gravity become infinite and space and time comes infinitely. It's where laws of physics cease to operate. So we go into a singularity up and enter in the eye zone at the centre of our plane. We transcend our biological limitations, these bodies that are holographic prisms. Upon entering the eye zone of the centre, we live at a place powered by the opposing source of our black sun. We have shown on the black hole renderings that there is a jet trailing out the centre. This is what's happening on our flat plane. We have the astral jet, what they call the Aurora Borealis coming out of the centre hole. Bore is short for borehole. A borehole in engineering is a deep hole in the ground to get water. The name Aurora Borealis is telling us this isn't some light made from electrons colliding with the atmosphere like we are told. This is a light pouring out of the hole. We live on the division side. The line represents flat plane we are currently on. So the two darts are the black sun and the white sun. The Sumerian 8th grade symbol represents the ninth gate. The Dharma wheel symbolises the walk to enlightenment is the gateway to Nirvana and there's many many more. They are all covering towards the centre. All compasses have eight points. This is no accident. Mount Maru is the magnetic mountain that lies at the centre of our plane at the Antarctic. The tree of life used to stand at the centre and it was cut down. And as we know mountains are tree stumps. It says Mount Maru was the tree of life. In this Buddhist picture we see a vortex below the mountain. Representing the vortex is where we go when we enter the centre. The Holy Grail, when we drink from it, we achieve everlasting life and abundant happiness. The Holy Grail, as we know, is allegory for the centre of our plane. Look at the Norse Tree of Life. 
Now look at this piece. Instead of a tree, there is a mountain, but the roots are still at the bottom. This tells me Mount Maru was the tree of life. The compasses point to this magnetic mountain. The reason indoctrination is so vital to the elite, like money, sex, greed, are all glamorised is to direct you of our intent. And us lot, because of it, haven't yet discovered that solely with our intent does our reality function.